Hey, how's it going everyone? It's kind of a cold, misty fall morning out here on the river. I believe the temperature is right around 35 degrees right now. I was on another stretch of this river a couple of days ago, about 10 miles downstream from here too, and the water temperature was anywhere from 48 to 50 degrees, so I really kind of thought the topwater bite was done for the year. But, you know, I just caught a little one on my Kitex swim bait here. And I dunked my hand in the water to let it go, and it's actually a lot warmer than I expected. The reason for that is because I'm right downstream from what I refer to as a smallmouth factory up here, where they discharge warm water into the river, so... Just by feel, I'd say it's probably mid to high 50s. That got me to wondering if we could still get something on top water. I checked my tackle box. Luckily I had one spook left in there, so... We're gonna give that a try this morning. See if we can get one last top water bite for the year. This is about as late in the year as I've ever got them on top water, but the past couple of weeks up here in Minnesota, it's been unseasonably cold. Oh, look at that. Instantly. Oh yeah, they're still hitting top water. Didn't take too long now, did it? <laughs> that answers that question. Yes, they are still willing to hit the spook. Oh, that makes me so happy. Not a huge one, but that's a decent one. Jeez, I must have thrown that spook right on top of her. She did not hesitate to come smack it. Oh yeah, I like that. Where did that last one come from? She was right up underneath that tree there. A lot of times when there's one, there's more over here. Maybe up just a little bit farther. Good morning. Oh, one swipe that over there. You see that? Oh yeah. There was one right up along the bank over there. Yeah, it's a big one too. That's a good one. Oh, this is so awesome. I thought we were done with top water for the year. I'll get you in the net. Wow. That one's a chunk. Jeez, look at that fat smallmouth. On the spook. How awesome is that? Man, that is a tank of a smallmouth. We can get her unhooked. We'll definitely have to get a length on this one. She's got to be 20 plus. Jeez, what a pretty fish too. I think I threw that spook right in front of her hiding spot. She is, ooh. About 20 and 5 eighths, maybe 20 and 3 quarters, if I stretch her. Jeez, that is a nice one right there. That is why I love fall fishing. What a tank. I 
am so happy I had one spook left in my tackle box. I was kind of surprised I did. I thought I pulled all my top water lures out of there, but if I remember right, I left one in there just in case I came out here to this stretch and the water felt a little bit warmer. But I'm using a Super Spook Junior size here, and I've got the saltwater redhead color. I like that saltwater one because it's got a little bit more detail along the sides. Then I end up swapping the hooks out anyways with some mustads with a feathered one on the back. Oh yeah, there's a big one. Hanging out right up there in the corner. Wow. tree over there. Oh wow. This one might be bigger than that last one. I'll lift up my power pole so I can kind of drift downstream to her. Try to get her in the net real quick. That is a pig. That is a pig. Holy cow. Wow. I am so glad I had that spook with me today. Excuse the noise, I'm just trying to drop my power pole back there so I don't go floating downstream. Jeez, look at that Toadzilla. Oh yeah. Another one on the spook. I am loving this. That is a monster, monster smallmouth too. Oh my gosh. We are definitely gonna get a measure on this one. That is a pig, holy. She is, look at that, 21 and three quarters. Almost 22. Jeez. That is a monster. Smallmouth. Wow. Oh, this is just too awesome. This right here is why I absolutely love fall fishing. A big giant smallies come out and they are hungry. That was one of the biggest mollies I've caught all year. Drop my anchor right here. We'll sit here and fish this spot for a minute or two. A big one too was right up over here in that corner. That's another toad. I think I'm gonna have to float downstream with her. Oh, she's gonna hold me right in one of these trees over here. Oh, she is a big one.
I'll get my anchor dropped. So I won't float too far downstream here. Yeah, that's a chunk. Usually felt a lot bigger with that current giving her a little bit more fight. Oh, that's a fatty right there. Jeez. Beautiful smallmouth. Barely got her lip there. I'll throw her on the measuring stick too. I don't know if she's quite 20. She might be close though. 19 and about 3 8 Nice fish though, man. We're getting some chunks on that spook today. I am so glad I decided to give the top water a try. Stop right here and fish for a minute or two. It's a nice and deep hole up here in front of me. Some big boulders over there where I threw the spook, and then there's like a nice sandbar and an eddy over here. So this little spot is usually crawling with fish somewhere. The last couple of times I've been out here, they're all over there. Oh, look at that. You see that wake coming for it? Oh, that was too cool. Yeah, it feels like another big one. Oh yeah. She's got me in some weeds, so I'm just trying to be delicate with her here. Cause that's my one and only spook. back into those weeds there. Come here now. Jeez, look at that chunk. She even came with a free side of salad. Nice. Yeah, they're crushing that spook today. Jeez, that really surprised me. I thought for sure the top water bite was done for the year. but I am having a blast out here today. I gotta say, if this is the last day I'm able to find them willing to hit top water, I won't be all that disappointed. I can't imagine a better way to end the top water season than some of the fish we've been catching today. Two over 20, that 21.75, that had to be one of the biggest smallmouth I've caught all year. Stop. I really slow myself down before I drop that anchor. I don't want to spook any fish that might be up over here. spook I don't want to get back into that cluster of sticks oh yeah that's a chunky one real dark colored fish too wow
Jeez, look at that. What a beautiful fish. Yeah, she's just hanging out underneath that stuff over there. Ran the spook along the edge of it, and ooh, she was barely hooked. She came out and nailed it. That was pretty awesome. I'll get a measure on that one, too. She might be a 20. No, not quite. About 19 and a half. That's a nice one, though. Well, it has been an awesome day out here today. Last thing I expected to catch him on was top water, but you know, I felt that water and it felt warm enough, so I tied on that spook. Geez, we've been getting some giants on that thing. <laughs> 